This video on shipment processing is one of a series of videos where we look at the tasks that the warehouse manager is going to do to print, pick, pack and ship your consignments. And this particular video is all about printing, packing and shipping a single shipment. So you've seen the fulfillment videos which explains what fulfillment is. It's all about creating goods notes for a warehouse. You have a sales order and then you create a goods out note or a shipment from that sales order and it's the shipment that you print, pick, pack and ship. That shipment information is put into your carrier system, so the address, where it's going, what it weighs and so on, and then your carrier delivers it to the customer. The print stage of the goods out note is typically used to tell the warehouse this item needs to be shipped to this customer. The picking stage is where you collect the goods from the shelf, the packing stage is where you place it into cartons, and the shipping stage is where you record it as dispatched. We'll look at different scenarios of using each of these in different warehouses. In the simplest case, a warehouse operator prints the goods out note, and that's the printed stage. He takes this into his warehouse, selects the items from the shelf, returns to the packing desk, and places the items into the carton. He enters the shipping information into the carrier system, and he can either do this manually, or you could integrate Brightpool with your carrier to do it automatically. Then you get a tracking reference back from the carrier, which you enter into Bright Pearl at the packing stage. The goods out note is now marked as packed. At the end of the day, you select a number of shipments based on the carrier that's just about to pick up, and you set them to shipped. So, now let's see how to do this in Bright Pearl. We're going to process a single shipment. Here we have a sales order that's been fulfilled. I can access the goods out note by clicking the blue link here on the line item. This opens the goods out note, where I can print, pick, pack and ship it. I'll show you another place where you can access the goods out notes as well. We'll go sales, goods out notes, due to ship. And this is the list that your warehouse manager would typically work from. So once you've fulfilled a sale, you can move on, and then your warehouse manager will pick it up from here. So let's take the one at the top of the list, we'll click print. The shipping method has been chosen by the person that created the fulfilment. If you want to change it, you can click Update Shipping Details. But first of all, let's print. We print it out on our printer. Click OK to mark it as printed. To print it again, we'd need to unprint it first. And this is to make sure you've only got one piece of paper in the warehouse for this consignment. For a small warehouse, we'd probably skip the pick stage. We go to the shelf pull off these CO2 cylinders, and then hit pack. We'd enter the information into our carrier system, which would return a tracking reference. If we want to send an email to the customer at this point, we just tick this box. When we click pack, the goods out note is now marked as packed. At the end of the day, we go to our goods out note list, show the filter, find all of those that have been packed, but not yet shipped. This brings up all of our packed shipments that we can select in one go and then hit ship. And that's our job done. If any sales are now marked as fully shipped, then they'll be caught up in the invoicing process, which we should do at the end of each day. So here's some important stuff that you need to know about goods out notes and shipment processing. You pick, pack and ship goods notes, not orders. You don't have to complete every stage, but you do need to ship. When you do ship, it marks all of the preceding stages, the print, the pick and the pack, as completed automatically. Inventory on hand reduces as soon as the goods out note is created, because the presence of a goods out note allocates inventory. Inventory in stock reduces when the goods note is shipped, and that's the point at which the cost of sale accounting is recorded into your profit and loss report. The pick stage is best used when dealing with batches, large volumes of goods out notes, and we'll see that in the next video. You need to unpick, unpack and unprint in order to delete a goods out note. Once it's shipped, you can't delete it however, so be careful about shipping, and that's always best done once the truck has actually left your premises. Brightpearl updates the sales channels that you have integrated with Brightpearl, such as eBay or your e-commerce store, with tracking information only when the shipment is finally shipped. And that takes us to the end of the video where we're working with a single shipment. 
The next video shows you how to process lots of shipments at once.